Hello, welcome to my channel, The Hebrew Bible. This is Moses Gumadi, and uh, in this video, I would like to talk about the rivers of Eden. Naharoth Eden. Naharoth Eden. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 8, we read that the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Vayitta Adonai Elohim gan be Eden mikkeden. So Kedem is east. Kedem is also used for eternity, as in the eternal God is thy refuge, we read in Deuteronomy. That is Elohe Kedem. So Kedem can mean east. It can also mean an eternal direction. So there is a double meaning as to where this Eden or Eden is. Vaita Adonai Elohim gan be Eden. Ganve Eden, Mikkeden, Eden. That's Eden. In verse 10, we read that a river went out of Eden to water the garden and it became into four heads. Four heads. Well, it basically parted and uh, became into four heads. Very interesting uh, word used. And the word that is used is uh, Rashim. Rosh is the head. Rashim. Our heads. So this is Eden and this is Rashim. So four heads. So the word for Eden is Eden. This is Ain Eden, which means pleasure or delight. Pleasure or delight. That's the meaning of Eden. And uh, in fact, the feminine form of this word. Eden is Edna, Edna, and uh, Sarah, when she was given this news that she is going to bear a son in an old age, she laughed. It says, "Is what it's hak Sarah bekirba within herself she laughed." Lemor achare beloti hayatali Edna. Edna means pleasure. After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure? Edna. So Eden is a pleasure. Edna is pleasure. That's a feminine form of the same word. In fact, the the um, the name Edna. Many people have uh, ladies have this name Edna. Women. Um, it's basically coming from Eden. Perhaps you may not know it. Well, that, well, now you know it. Right, so now let's look at the names of the rivers in Genesis chapter 2, verse 11. Shem ha ha echad pishon, hu hasove et kol eretz ha asher sham hazahav. The name of the first, Shem ha ha echad, the name of the first is pishon. Well, actually, some Bibles say pishon. I put a H there too, so pishon. This is Shin with a dot here on the right hand side. So pronounce it as Pishon. And then we have Chavila. Chavila is where it goes all around. And what is the meaning of these of these words? Pishon means increase or growth. And Chavila means a circular. Well, actually it means circular. It could be an enclosed region or a district or something like that. Havila is actually uh, also the name of a couple of people in the Bible. It is also the name of different regions, uh, one region in Africa, another region in Asia, etc. So there is no definitive place as to where this particular one is. Um, we do not know where this one is. Maybe in Africa, maybe towards India. We can't tell. There were some who thought that uh, this river, Pishon, uh, could be Ganges in India or Indus. Uh, but then the later commentators, um, you know, they said something else. It's probably there near Sudan or something like that. Okay, but there is another river which goes all around Ethiopia. We'll talk about that. So the second, uh, and of course, here we read the gold. Vazahav ha'aretsahi to sham ha'bedolach ve'even ha'soham. Zahav is gold. So here also we read in the previous verse, 
Asher Sham Hazahav, where where there is gold, Zahav. So Zahav is gold. And Bedelium is Habedola, Habedolach. This is actually gum, a resin, a gum, something like that, but expensive material. It comes from the trees. It's basically tree sap which solidifies. It's a basic sort of a resin gum. And the onyx stone is actually in Hebrew shoham, has shoham. High is the article, and so shoham stone. Now the second river is Veshem Han Nahar Hasheni. The said the name of the second river is Gihon. Who has so well it's called it is Kush. It compasses or it goes all around the land of Kush. We read it as Ethiopia in some Bibles, but uh, the word is Kush, and the river is Gihon. <coughs> Now, what does Gihon mean? Gihon means bursting forth, right? So it's a good metaphor, the, the river bursting forth, bubbling up and bursting forth. And Kush means black. So uh, Kush is generally a reference to uh, Ethiopia and Sudan, uh, that area, Somalia, that area uh, within Africa. So it is clear that this Gihon is uh, there in that area, right? However, there is another Gihon spring, Gihon spring in Jerusalem, where Solomon was anointed. Solomon was, uh, David told, um, you know, Nathan the prophet and, uh, and, the, and Nathan, Nathan the prophet and Sadok the priest to take Solomon uh, into Gihon, uh, the spring and uh, there anoint him. So probably he was down on the river halfway through or something. Maybe there's some kind of a baptism ceremony, anointing ceremony there, similar to what Jesus had in the uh, in the river Jordan and the Holy Spirit came upon him. It is an anointing. So similar stuff. Uh, but of course, they anointed him with oil, the priest, etc., while he was in the water. And so David tells them to take Solomon. Solomon is Shlomo. Shlomo. Okay, that's how it is pronounced. And Gihon is the river, Gihon Spring, uh, in Jerusalem. And therefore, Gihon uh, is not just one uh, particular river. It is there in Africa. It is there in Jerusalem. So, and this name is used a couple of times at least. And the third uh, river here, Veshem Han Nahar Hashelishi. That's the third. Hiddekel. Hiddekel is the third river. Hu Haholech that goes all the goes Kidmat Ashur towards the east of Ashur. Kidmat. So Kedem. I told you earlier Kedem. Eden was planted in Kedem, east. So that word Kidmat comes from Kedem, and this is Ashur. Ashur is Assyria. Ashur. Veha Nahar Harevi Hu Ferat. Hu Ferat. So the third river is Hiddekel, and the fourth river, the Veha Nahar Harevi, this is the fourth river, is Ferat. So third river goes all around, uh, goes towards the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. Euphrates is the modern name, but here you can see Farat, P-H-R-A-T, Farat. That's the name, Farat. Farat in Hebrew. Uh, well, <clears throat> here it is, uh, the dot is not there, so we pronounce Farat. But actually, of course, this is Hiddekel, which means rapid, rapid. Earlier, Gihon is bubbling for bursting forth, and Ashur means happy, or it could be a step as well, depending on how you interpret it. Asher means happy, Ashur is a step, but Ashur is probably related to happy as well. 
Okay, so that, those are the, for the three rivers, and the fourth river is Perat. Here we have the Dagesh, we pronounce as Perat, and if there is no Dagesh, you pronounce as Ferat, F, which means fruitfulness. Very beautiful meanings. And so, in fact, if you put a summary of all these uh, uh, rivers together, we have out of this Eden, the place of pleasure, four rivers come out. A river comes out and, well, actually, one single river comes out and it becomes into four heads, four divisions, uh, Pishon, Gihon, Hiddekel, Ferat, or Perat. Increase, bursting forth, rapid, and fruitfulness. Out of pleasure. So this is all spiritual language. If Eden is in the higher world, a world of pleasure, the kingdom of heaven, as it were, the rivers that come out of it, a single river that divides up into four, this dividing up into four is also very interesting. The name of God, there is only one God, but his name has four letters. Pishon, increase, bursting forth, rapid, fruitfulness. All these are all the results uh, that emerge out of this place of pleasure. Very interesting. In Psalm 46, 4, we read in Nahar, <coughs> Pelagav Yesamehu Ir Elohim. A river, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. Kedosh Mishke Kedosh Mishkene Elion, the tab the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Most High is Elion. So there is a river which the streams whereof make glad the city of God. So, a river from the city of God, a city of God in the heavenlies. There is another verse in the book of Psalms, we read, Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised in the city of God, in the mountain, mountain of His holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth, is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, Saphon, sides of the north, the city of the great king. This is the heavenly city. Heavenly city, paradise, Eden, the place of pleasure out of which the rivers of life flows and it parts into four heads as it were. And we have an increase bursting forth, a rapidity and fruitfulness out of that. I trust this video was useful for you. Please do like the video. Uh, so that uh, the algorithm would uh, can take it to many other people. Please do comment and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.